Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. So, the uh, the ultimate Chimera is on the loose, touching it as one-hit death. Don't want to do that. So obviously we're going to try to be avoiding him here. Now, he pretty much always is in this room right here. Yeah, see, there he is. So don't go in there. That's probably a bad idea. Uh, where we actually want to go is down on the first floor. Um, it's not this room here, though there are a few uh, interesting things around here. It's a parental Kanga Shark. Uh, it has a value listed on it. It's you, you divide that by like 10,000 or something and that's how many DP it gives. I don't, I don't know the exact number, but it's something like that. So there's the Australophant and uh, over here is the Ein Swine, which we haven't seen yet. It's a pretty cool enemy. Uh, we'll get to it later, of course. Take it slow. Alright, I don't think he's down here. You gotta be really cautious around this thing. Hey, it's that man in a trash can. Dr. Andonuts? Oh, that's awesome. I realize you haven't asked, but my name is Dr. Andonuts. I'm being forced to conduct various sorts of research by a certain man. Currently, though, I'm trying to conceal myself for certain reasons. Uh, there's a big red bloodthirsty chimera on the loose, maybe? I'm a bit occupied at the moment. Could you come back at a better time? Uh, I suppose. Have fun in your trash can. Alright, I think this is where we need to be going. Yeah, it is. So let's talk to this guy here. Monkeys? Yeah, some ran through the store, actually. Why didn't I run after them, you ask? Yeah, why didn't you? You're supposed to be looking for him. Ow! Uh, my stomach. It pains me so. Yeah, that ultimate Chimera, or Kimura, or whatever it's called. I'd make quick work of it if it only were f if only it weren't for my aching stomach. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Like they say, you can't fight on an aching stomach. Wasn't that an empty stomach? So I'll leave the rest to you. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, chicken. Okay, so we can now take the elevator he was guarding down to the basement floor. And the monkeys are apparently through here. For part-timers, you sure do work hard. You're really something. But you should probably get out of this building as fast as you can. Yeah, we got stuff to do in here, man. Alright, so there's no problem here, but this sort of looks like the Titanies we've seen before, but it's kind of flying. We can't really do anything with it, of course. I'm sure we'll be running into it later, though. Get some pork stew there. What have you got to say, scientist man? The monkey. It let the red one out of its cage. We're done for now. Ah, so, <laughs> so it was the monkeys who did that, huh? Put some rice balls in the freezer room, but they wound up frozen solid. I should have eaten them sooner. Yeah, that's the first thing that's on everybody's mind right now. Whoa. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is where the ultimate chimera was kept. Uh, looks like an appropriate room for it. Got a few other things around here uh, that we haven't seen before. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we recognize those monkeys. That's Salsa and his uh, little monkey girlfriend. So let's keep going after him. Back up out of here. And as you can see, the music has actually started back. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's actually impossible to run into the uh, Ultimate Chimera now for some reason. I don't really know why, but uh, I could be mistaken, though. It's just I've never seen it, you know, after this point. So maybe because you're in a, like a sort of a scripted chase with the monkeys here. So let's go after them. I guess they don't recognize us because we have those stupid pig masks on. I don't know why Lucas doesn't think to take it off, you know? Alright. Oh, this isn't good. Yeesh. We're trapped in a corner now. I just remembered this Chimera's weakness, so I mustered up the courage to come here. You're still in a trash can, though. Whoa! Oh, man. That was way too close for comfort. At least we're on the other side now. This is a high-tech battery-operated chimera. In other words, if we set the power switch on its back to off, it will stop. Oh. Yeah, like, we're gonna get that close to push that button, man. Yeah, let's get out of here. I like kind of the heartbeat sound effect in the background there, too. Yep, so now that that thing actually removed our pig masks, Salsa's gonna recognize us back from when we saved him uh, in Chapter 3. So now that he finally knows who we are... Looks like he's gonna run after us. Whew. Meanwhile, we're not making any headway here. There's a large button on its back. You need to press it. Come now, be courageous. Use the dog as bait. <laughs> Pony's like, hey man, what the heck? Uh oh. So we gotta press this button somehow. Wow. 
Wow. Holy jeez, man. Salsa just totally saved our lives. I guess we're even now, huh? Phew, man. Whew, got my blood pumping there. Thank you, lad. And monkey. I think I'll use this opportunity to leave the military and devote my life to making all living things happy. Ah, oh, well, that's a pretty noble goal. Oh, you agree with my idea? Thank you, dog. <laughs> Pony that. I didn't forget about what you said. I was merely joking about the bait thing. <laughs> that's right, go get him. It's a simple misunderstanding. You have it all wrong. Ah, uh, always time for some good old comedy, huh? Our lives were just in huge danger a minute ago. But now we've been saved by Salsa and he promptly joins our party. So cool, we actually get in a party with Salsa again. That's pretty neat. Uh, wait, what's going on? Aw, oh, that stupid bird. <laughs> Yeah, it's brought back to life. But don't worry, though, it's not actually going to terrorize us anymore. Uh, even if we go back into the uh, Chimera Lab, it's not going to be around anywhere, so... Just remember that it's still on, though. Alright, so now Salsa's following us around, and he's pretty much still exactly the same as we left him uh, back in Chapter 3. As you can see, he's still got all the stuff, all these ancient bananas, the beef jerkies, nut bread, so... Uh, he's literally exactly the same, even exactly the same level, too. Uh, he's 11, so <laughs> it's kind of interesting. He doesn't really have anything that we want. I mean, I guess if he did have something good, then we could, um, like, take it off of him and put it in Lucas's inventory, but there's really no need for that, because he doesn't have anything good. There's a little girly monkey who kind of, kind of, I don't know, squeaks at us or whatever. So there's a door here. Dancing figures are depicted on it. Hey, we've seen one of these before, haven't we? That's right, Salsa, it's up to you. Yeah, it's, I also find it kind of funny that Lucas is running around here with three animals. <laughs> it's just a kid and three animals. So now we get to run around as Salsa. Hey, we can actually go wherever we want at this point, so cool. I guess a little solo Salsa second here, a little alliteration for you. But basically what we need to do here is just do our little monkey dance again. So we get to see this again, and it's still really adorable, so... Much more adorable than Wes's dance, for sure. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> okay, so he does the dance and it lowers down, and we can now go through here. This is pretty much why they were saying we need the monkeys, because they aren't able to get through this door otherwise. And uh, I guess Facade told them all about their adventures in Osohe Castle or something, I don't know. Alright, so we can go up here. There looks to be sort of a lake, and a empty place where a lake could be. Come on. There's the little girly monkey again. I think her name's Samba, by the way. I don't know if it's ever mentioned, but... Wow, oh, look who it is. It's Kumatora. Looks like she survived the fall, huh? Whoa, awesome! You really did show up, Lucas. Oh, you're a two salsa? It's great to see you again. I didn't know you were alive. Oh, and how you been, love monkey? <laughs> Pretty much. Hello. Aw. I'll be scared of Kumatora. Oh my, what adorable visitors. Introduce me to them, won't you? Yeah, I gotta do this stupid voice again. You're gonna be hearing it a lot <laughs> in this chapter. Yeah, sir, these are my friends. This is Salsa the monkey and his love monkey. And this is Lucas the human. <laughs> like, you need to explain that. And this dog is... How do you forget Boney? Oh, come on. <laughs> She's like, what was the dog's name? Tell me. Boney the dog. Yeah, there you go. So you're sweet little Lucas. Ionius told me all about you. Come with me. I'll show you where the needle is. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Lucas, that's Doria, one of the seven Magipsies. Sure is. Yeah, like, I couldn't tell that was a Magipsy. He saved me. Apparently, that's what fate had in store. Okay, so we all kind of uh, file out of the room here. What do you got to say? Ionia told me you would come here. The needle I'm guarding is at the bottom of this pond. My needle is much more of a pain to pull out. Yeah, pretty much. It's not just sitting in a big open field, huh? 
It's hard to believe you really have the power to pull the needles, but before you can even try, we need to move the water from this pond into that empty hole first. Oh, I see. You know the the Chimera Laboratory to the west of here? Yeah, I think I know that place. There might be some junk there that could help us move the pond water. Why not look for something there? Uh, okay, I guess that sounds like a plan. So apparently we're heading back to the Chimera Lab again. After I fell from the airship, Dory was there to rescue me. Apparently a pretty woman dressed in red appeared in Doria's dreams. Aw oh, man, Hinawa is just all over the place. And for told that I'd fall into this pond. For some reason, after I heard that story, I just somehow knew you guys were alright too and that I'd see you again soon enough. I was a little worried about you though, Lucas. Doria also says Duster's alright. I think he is too. Well, hopefully. One can only hope, right? Anyway, it looks like we're about to run out of time, so in the next part we're going to uh, move the water over and pull the needle here. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.